Greetings from Snake Mountain Boatworks on Saturday, March 17. Our 1940 15-foot Lyman Custom Yacht Tender is looking pretty nice after eight coats of varnish. That's just the beginning. Her transom stained and having received a, a couple of coats of Pettit High Build Varnish and now we can see her bilge and interior in the right attitude and I have to say it it really came out nicely we will continue building coats of varnish probably to at least 20 because one of the challenges with this model and uh, we have continued to do some research but first one of the uh, challenges with this model which Lyman would either uh, deliver with white top sides or if the uh, owner uh, wished to have it varnished the entire boat bright down to the waterline she with the cypress strakes will be bright all the way down to the waterline. But that leaves us the challenge of the, the clench nails, uh, some of which are uh, not fair to the surface. So what we will be doing is applying coats of varnish until every one of those declivities is filled to the surface. We'll be sanding in between. Uh, she's ready for sanding now and by that process we will produce an absolutely fair surface from stem to stern on both top sides. We've been continuing to research this boat and uh, have ignited a lively conversation amongst the members of the New England Lyman group and thanks to Alan Briggs, a fellow member, uh, We've now nailed exactly who she is. Lyman in 1940 and 41 offered this custom yacht tender. Lyman referred to it as a 15 foot tender, even though her actual length is 15 feet 8 inches. This was custom because the owner could choose amongst a, a menu of options including the cypress uh, top sides, the bright finish, the spray shield in place of a windshield and you'll see later if you look at our first videos of her the spray shield is absolutely flat across the uh, the deck rather than uh, swept backwards as is typical of Lyman windshields. We have been working on stripping everything that goes inside the hull. We have most of it ready to install having been stripped, sanded, sealed with three coats of clear penetrating epoxy sealer, all surfaces especially end grain and then we applied two coats of Sandusky Lyman Santan bilge paint to all components. What awaits me here is stripping the two decks and the final cleanup of the uh, combing. I'm, I will not use a chemical paint, paint stripper for this for fear of uh, dripping a little bit of stripper into the interior of the boat which would just create a mess. Rather than use a chemical stripper we will be using uh, our heat guns and, and Baco scrapers which will allow us to clean all of this residual varnish off very nicely and as it releases it releases in a dry form which is easily vacuumed up. So, that's where we are, major milestone for Susan. She's 
upright once again. We'll continue applying varnish to the top sides and transom. We have yet to apply her red bootstripe and I will be focusing on cleaning up the decks, cleaning up the combings, and then it will be time to, to bleach everything that you see here that is not finished. And once we've done that, we can stain her, seal her with three coats of clear penetrating epoxy sealer, and begin applying Pettit high build varnish. Uh, the interesting part of this project is that as with most Carvel plank boats, right, she has deck planks with seams in between. Typically those seams are filled with uh, white Sikaflex or some other white material. But what we've been able to learn about this particular model is that in fact the seams were not actually filled. As with uh, my 1953 22-foot Shepherd runabout, the material is a brown Sikaflex which is applied to the bottom of these channels, of these seams, and doesn't come up fair to the, to the deck itself. So you achieve the waterproofing without a strong visual effect. And that's how we will be treating uh, Susan. So, on a sunny March 17th, 2018, this is where we are on the 1940 15-foot Lyman Custom Yacht Tender. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.